biggest hurdle nowadays is not so much finding attention, but it is how to attract attention. Because if you think about it, everybody has a social media profile. Everybody at least has a Facebook, Instagram, something like that. People are hanging out on YouTube. They're hanging out on forums. They're watching videos. They're doing all that stuff. So they're always networking. And But the point here is, how do we get these people to quit what they're doing and to actually get interested into what we want them to be interested in. Now, obviously, let's say, or let's take ourselves, let's empathize with our target audience. Let me imagine that I came from a day of work, full day of work, and it's been a, a, a huge, a, a big day. I've been working a lot, I've been working hard, and I come home, and the first thing I do is I sleep a little bit, I lay down on the bed, I take my phone and I start watching TikToks. I start watching Facebook videos, scrolling down, looking at my friends' and neighbors' feeds. Now here, I don't have time for somebody to come and to tell me, buy this product, buy this food, buy this and that. I need something special, something specific to, to get me from whatever I'm doing to focus on what that seller, what that marketer wants me to focus on. We call this the inquirer interrupt. And the inquirer interrupt works like this. It builds curiosity by using what we call in copywriting, it is called the disruption element. So imagine you looking at the news on Facebook and then you come across this uh, ad or video that says 300 pound baby see video. Now that, if it doesn't take you or if it doesn't make you uh, get up from your seat, <laughs> this means that there is something wrong with me. So generally speaking, you need to use what we call viral marketing, a concept called viral marketing to actually make people engage with you. All right, so this is how it looks. Somebody is in front of their computer and this is exactly what you need to do. You need to disrupt them from whatever they're doing and to pull them to your funnel, to pull them to where you want to take them. Now, there is, here's an example of viral marketing. Now, this article was, was seen by millions of people. This is an Indian article posted on India Today. And it's really, really gone viral. The article is all about a woman that gave birth to 10 babies at once. And probably this article was watched by the entire Indian population. Millions of people viewed this article. So imagine if you were the website that posted this. If you are indiatoday.com, or dot India, and you posted this on your website, you had around millions of far millions of people, millions of people watched the article. And so this is the power of viral marketing. It can really take people and, and from whatever they're doing and push them to you. Here's another creative ad by this lady called Mimase. So you can see that the ad itself is her, her is the lady, you know, <laughs> that's crazy. She's, you know, she's taking a picture, she's holding a phone in her hands, and you can see that her hands are, are, are you know, coming out and, and touching, you know, it's, it's interesting. So people be looking at this would really, really be like, you know, this is, this is such a great designer. This is such, I mean, this is interesting. So this is one of those interesting articles that even if you're not interested, even if you're not interested, you would click on. So here's another interesting article for, from Sabri Subi, a very popular internet marketer, and it depicts uh, Mark Zuckerberg with a small mouth, with big ears and big green eyes. And the reason, <laughs> it's interesting, so the reason why is because Mark Zuckerberg does not speak so much and he's an alien or something like that. And He's using this picture to catch people's attention. So anybody looking at this would probably be interested to know more about this. You know, what is this? So anybody, I mean, I'm talking from my own experience. If I looked at this, I'd be like, let me go and, and observe, you know, what is this? I mean, I would want to know the aftermath of it. So here's another example of the disruption element. <laughs> Look at this. So this is a, this is a newspaper or called The Inquirer. Uh, news and it, it's very no, known with its you know i would say you know just crazy crazy 
uh, headlines that they post. Uh, on the top of the headlines, just look at it. Lisa, Lisa Murray Presley, drug den exposed. Crazy. Then you have another, uh, that's another headline that says, what these billionaires are hiding. In <laughs> incredible. And then on top of it, you have secrets of the filthy rich. And so this is really, 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 if that doesn't, doesn't, you know, doesn't actually get your attention, I don't know what is. When you look at a title that says what these billionaires are hiding, you probably want to know about that. You know, you'd probably want to know about that. Here's another one. Inside Tom's House of Horrors. <laughs> the abuse, punishments, and humiliation. Katie's tortured life exposed. Then you have at, at the top, Paula Dean's Diet Lies. Bruce catches Chris with her ex-lover. So all of these are fiery, fiery headlines that this National Enquirer News newspaper actually uses. They're using it, you know, to get people's attention and it works. It works all the time. Here's another one. Celebrity fixer breaks silence. <laughs> all right. So, and they're showing in the background, they're showing Sylvester Stallone, Pamela Anderson, and uh, that guy, uh, Steven Seagal. And on top, they said Bob Saget didn't have to die in, in you know, uh, insinuating to the point that he might have been murdered. Then you have UFO is Menace America. So all of these, all of these are incredibly, incredibly, you know, high engaging headlines. You can, you can take inspiration from such. Here's another one. Amazing. Hillary Clinton adopts alien baby. All right. Well, if this doesn't get your attention, I don't know what is. Space creation survive UFO crash in Kansas. So you get the point. You get what I mean. What sells is what gets attention. People are there on the internet. They are on Facebook. They are on Instagram. They are doing their stuff. And if you want people to actually give you any attention, you need to get the attention by posting. I'm not asking you to post crazy things, but you need to do, you know, viral marketing. You need to go a step further in order to summon people and to push them, to push them to actually want to know what you're all about. If you stay humble and you just, you know, uh, use shy ads and just, you know, uh, I can help you, I can do this for you, that that stuff doesn't work anymore. And now nowadays you need to be, you need to get creative with your headlines. And by the way, like Jay Abraham, the great marketer himself says, 90% of marketing is headlines. And so 90% of whatever people see is the headline. And that, that explains why in most of these headlines that appear here, the ones that appear uh, with the yellow color are the biggest. And there they take the most or they take the biggest space from the paper. 